Yeah, good evening guys. Me and dad are out doing a uh, 1930s or 40s built house today. Um, a little bit of fill dirt here and there. Haven't found much. I think dad found a wheat penny. Uh, I had a good 27 signal. I popped this up. And it looks like it's going to be a Tootsie toy tanker. I'll leave the dirt in the bottom of it so I don't break the wheels off. But that's what it looks like to be. Pretty excited about that. Love Tootsie Toys. Alright guys, still going here. Using the Equinox 800. Uh, next hole after that Tootsie Toy, I had a... Uh, it was jumping around a 28-30 signal. and I popped the hole. Pulled some dirt out. See something shiny down in there. I'm not sure what it is. I haven't pulled it out yet. Let's see if I can pop it here and see what we got. Might just be a big piece of junk. I think it is just going to be a big piece of junk. Yep. And that's the joys of metal detecting right there. Awesome. Alright, Dad has found himself a big token. And... It's aluminum. Florida Pool Products token. I bet that looked like a silver dollar coming out. Yeah. I never thought you could consider it. Alright, we'll keep going. Alright guys, I just came back around the corner of the house here from looking at Dad's token. I had a really deep signal here, about pinpointer deep. It was jumping around 28, 30, 33. Um, didn't uh, ring in real solid, but good enough for me to dig it. Way down there, pinpointer deep. Pop this out. And that's how it lays. We'll give a little squirt and see what it is, but I believe it to be a mercury dime. So let me, uh, let me get some water on it. Let's see what gear we got. All right, guys, we'll go ahead and give it a little squirt here. He's pretty stained up. We can give it a little rub to see what kind of date we got. Yeah, it looks like a 23. That's a nice old Mercury dime. Minute from 1916 to 1945. Right, we'll keep going. All right, guys, next hole after I pop that mercury. And in here, it looks like I got a Roman fibula brooch. Ah, who am I kidding? We're hunting in Ohio. Piece of junk. We'll keep going. All right, guys, still going here at the yard. I had a decent 25 signal, about three inches deep. Popped it up out and got my first wheat penny on the day. It is a 1944. Uh, wheat pennies were minted from 1909 to 1958 and this one is a Philadelphia all right we'll keep going all right dad's on the call over here by the clothesline he says he has something interesting down in the hole here all right go ahead and pop it out Let's see what it is hey, it looks like a massive crotal bell are you kidding me complete too. Wow. That is a beast. Up the bottom of it there and see if we have a number or anything on it. I never dreamed that there would be a cradle bell here. Where's the number at? It should be right there or right there. Well that's a great find. Number eight? Or was it eight? Number or? two it looks like. Number two, yeah. Well, maybe not. Number eight. Number eight. That must be the size yeah, of it. Number eight. Must be. The bigger the number, the bigger the curdle bell. Well, that's massive. Hold that thing up. Wow. Never dreamed that would be here in a 1940s built house. Awesome. I can't wait to clean that up and see if she rings. I'm sure she will. Well, that alley there, they could have rode horses back in the day. Yep. For sure. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the best find of the day right there. Yep. Beautiful. Yep. All right, guys, next hole came out from down in here which is 
about pinpoint or deep, six, seven inches. And there she lays. Oh, you can see that dark staining around the coin there. Hoping for a wheat penny, but rang up a little high. Could be a memorial. So what we got here. It is a wheat penny. Awesome. Second wheat penny for the day. Nice greeny. And as most of you know, they're called wheat pennies because of the wheat ears on either side there. Alright, see if we can get a date off this thing. This looks like a pretty old one. I'm gonna rub it with my pants here. Well, maybe a 35. New quarter. Alright, I'm calling dad over. I popped a 32 signal up, shallow, took a swipe across the plug with the pinpointer, and that's how she lays. Hello there, right like that. Washington. Mm -hmm. A little squirty. I pulled a bunch of wash in his day, but there's... Looks like a 52. It's probably all 70s. I'll wash it off and then I'll show you guys. All right, guys, down here in the front yard now, down by the road. Still using the Equinox 800. Had a shallow 26 signal. Pop me up. Old cap gun. Pretty much destroyed, but still a cool find. All right, it's getting dark on us, so we won't be here much longer. All right, guys, looks like we're in the gun safe. I flipped the plug up here and I see something sticking out. Looks like the butt end of a pistol. So, so we'll pull it out here together. Yes, sir. Old cap gun. Looks like maybe plastic handle or bone handle. That might clean up. See if we get a name off of it. Pretty cool find. Must have been out here playing cowboys and Indians. All right, guys, it's getting really dark out here. Just had a 17 signal, pretty deep. I popped it up. Looks like a organ reed. Might clean it up and get the note off of it once we get to the house. But thought I'd show you guys. There's old stuff here. This might be it for the night. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, Dad and I are back out at the Crudel Bell spot. Finishing up again this evening. First signal. Pop me a coin up. See what it is here. See Abe on that side, hoping for a weedy at least. Yeah. Definitely a wee penny. So that's a good start. We'll come back if we find anything else. All right, guys. I just popped up a token of some sort, aluminum, folded over. Says the Stockholm RCA. So I'll unfold that when I get to the house and see what's on the other side. Never seen that before. Keep going. All right, guys. Just popped up another wheat scent, and it looks like a 1928. There's got to be another silver dime around here somewhere. All right, we'll keep going. All right, guys, another weedy here, 1953, third one on the day. Number four, 1944. All right, Dad's called me over, uh, but beforehand, I'm going to show you this little thing. Uh, can't get anything off of it yet, but it looks like I play money. Okay, here's Dad's hole. He's got himself a little charm off of a necklace. Pretty cool little find. I don't think it's precious, but good find nonetheless. All right, we'll keep going. All right, Dad's down in me the, over. It was down in the, down in the roots. Looks like a Tootsie Roadster to me. Purple. 
Yeah, that's two Tootsies out of this yard. Very nice. All right, guys. Got about a 25 signal on the Equinox. And I got me another reed. Nice and green. All right, guys, next hole. 1961 rabies tag. All right, guys, starting to get dark. Out front here, popped a pretty decent hole, and we got a pocket watch. Pretty good shape, silver plated. Pretty cool find. Clean that up, that'll just play nice. All right, guys, working the ditch down here by the road, and I have popped myself up a presidential token. Not sure who it is, but it is a good find for this ditch. Looks like fill dirt. All right, we'll keep going. Just gonna head right down through there. All right, guys, it's getting dark on us. Still going here. Just going back over where we've already looked, and I popped a massive, shiny, round thing here. I believe it's a steely marble. Not sure. What this is exactly. But it is a big old thing. Alright, we'll keep going. This may be it for the night. It is. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on our next adventure. Alright guys, it is dark. I, uh, just cleaning up here, popped up a 14 signal on the Equinox 800, and I see a little bit of shine there. It's nickel size. I'm thinking it might be a war nickel. I'm pretty sure that's what we have there.